Okay, so when I look at this problem here, um, to do integration, I recognize as multiplying. There's no substitution to do because these functions are very different. And so again, I'm going to end up with using integration by parts in this scenario. And so I have to choose my u and my dv. And my guideline for choosing my u is the polynomial or ln x. There is no polynomial here. There is no ln x. So I have to be creative. And what I do know is I know that integrating e to the x is quite simple. And so I'm going to use e to the x to be my dv. And so my u, I'm going to make my u, u I'm going to make cosine x, cosine x, and then my dv is going to be e to the x dx. So differentiating du is equal to negative sine x dx. Don't be lazy with your notation. And I take the integral of this side. The integral of this is just e to the x. Using my formula, I plug in, I want u, which is cosine x, e to the x, minus the integral of v, e to the x, times negative sine x dx. Well, it seems like have, it seems that I've really done nothing other than make a new integral that looks very similar to the original integral. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to integrate this one more time. I'm going to integrate this piece here one more time. And when I do that, I'm going to make u be the sine x and the dv to be the e the x dx again. And so I take the derivative of sine x, which is cosine x. I take the integral here, oh, which is e the x. And I'm going to go and substitute that in. So I know I have I know that this integral here, my initial integral, cosine x e to the x dx, is equal to cosine x e to the x plus, well now I'm going to do this integral here, uv, which is u, u, v times e to the x minus the integral of my v du, my, my v, du, cosine, x, d, x. But when I see this, when I integrate this, now if I consider what I have here, this is the same term as that. And so I'm going to add it over to the other side. And when I do that, I end up with two integrals of cosine x e dx dx is equal to cosine x e dx plus sine x times e dx. And then I'm going to just divide everything by 2. And so the integral of cosine x e dx dx is equal to 1 half cosine x e dx plus 1 half sine x times e the x plus c. And so in this case, I have to do not only integrate by parts twice, but then I have to collect like terms in order to get the integral that I'm, that I'm looking for. And one of the things that helps me know that is the cyclical nature of cosine x. Cosine x's derivative and sine x derivative they are cyclical in the sense that they go one to the next to the next to the next and so on. And so with that pattern, I can usually combine the similar integrals together.